Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are currently in beautiful Brady, Texas. Uh, Kyle's grandparents own this place, so we drove out here. This is already my third hunt, or third sit on this hunt. We drove out here yesterday, right after an exam that I had. Just as soon as I got out of the building, we booked it over here. Um, still nothing good. We're hoping to get a big buck. Uh, we had a good couple ones show up on camera. But they're not very consistent, especially during the rut right now. It's currently, it's December 2nd. By the way, it's hot outside. It's like 70 degrees in December. That's that's Texas for you. But got the old Hoyt Carbon Defined out here. Here's our view for the whole weekend. And we'll just have to see how it goes. This is already third time out here this season. I just haven't been able to seal the deal on a big buck because out here we don't like to shoot anything under four and a half or unless the genetic genetics are messed up. A lot of really good deer, but two and a half, three, three and a half years old. So hopefully one of the millions will these big bucks slip up and we can get we can get them on the ground. So Kyle was hunting another stand before the feeder went off. Hey, there we go. Six five Grandy doing work. Show him that bullet hole. Let's see here, six five grand old SSTs. Oh yeah. How far was that shot? Oh, probably 30, 35 yards. Before the feeder even went off, and then, and then what happened after that? About Thirty seconds after I shot this one, about four or five doe walked in. <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on with me, but. Usually, whenever I hunt out here, I mean, I'll see. How many deer did you see today? Probably 20, 25. Yeah, like that. We'll see a lot of deer out here. Today, this morning, yesterday, I saw maybe five deer. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm going to give that stand one more try tomorrow morning. And if not, I might go to where he's hunting. There's a, there's a bow blind over there. But he got that on video, shot it with his thermal. So I'll post that right now, and I guess we'll catch you in the morning. This spike is still here. He does not care that I'm right here. He'll look up at me, just goes back to eat. But he's just staring at me, that's crazy. Every other deer would have been gone by now. And I think that deer was here yesterday, did the same thing. I'm trying to wave at him. He just does not care. I guess he knows that he's safe for now. But it's cold. <sighs> probably going to be my last sit here. I'll probably go hunt the ground blind. Um, that's the same stand. Or that's the same feeder that uh, Kyle's hunting. Or I might hunt the pond. Just sit by the pond and see what happens. We got this evening sit and then tomorrow morning and then we gotta head back to class finals week next week and spike just finally walked off 
but we'll see you soon. All right, it's the last sit for the hunt. We have one more sit tomorrow morning, and we have to head back to school, but I've been getting very little action at the tree stand for the past couple sits, so I decided to come to the blind. Uh, by the way, here's the blind. Got the bow, got the tripod, but this is a baronet blind. This thing is absolutely massive. I have, I'm six foot four, and I could comfortably lay down in this thing. It's so big. Um, but Kyle has been on this feeder at a, at a rifle stand, just been watching over it. He's been getting a lot more action than me. And he's already shot his deer for the year, so he's trying to get me on one. Um, hopefully some big buck messes up and they come out and I'm able to make a good shot. Hopefully we can seal the deal tonight. all she wrote it's the next morning the last morning and I decided to sit not too far from the candy road candy road is right over there I just set up a couple pushes just to just to cover me up a little bit because usually Kyle will see deer hop the county road and come over on this side of the property but a couple of those came by went to the feeder feeders just behind me over there a couple of those went to the feeder but no bucks today i mean you win some you lose some that's the struggles of bow hunting if i wanted to rifle hunt probably would have had a shooter down because kyle said that he saw one shooter come come this way a couple days ago uh, on one of our very first sits but i mean with bow hunting way less shot opportunities way less visibility but I enjoy the challenge. It's probably my last sit of the year. So, I mean, wish I had one down, but that's just part of it. Still enjoy it. Still, still enjoy the scenery. That's really, that's really what it's all about, being with God. Maybe next year will be a better year. We have, we've seen plenty of shooters, or plenty of young bucks that for sure can be shooters next year. But I guess we'll see. I guess I'll leave y'all here. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I will uh, once again leave my Instagram in the bio. I'll put Kyle's Instagram in the bio. Make sure y'all subscribe and like the video. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.